Kalina, thank you. Toxic algae blooms are making sea animals sick off the SoCal coast and being blamed for some attacks now on people. But a new place to heal for seals and sea lions is opening. KCAL News reporter Cara Finstrom is live in San Pedro with a look at the new space. Cara, good morning. Yeah, you can hear our noisy friends behind us. We've moved into the back now. And sadly, this is where some very sick sea lions and other mammals have been brought. These are looking pretty good because if they make it here and they get treatment, most of them will survive. But the Marine Mammal Center, well over capacity. So LA Unified is going to work with this center on setting up an emergency triage care area on some adjoining school district property. They say it is important to act now. Take a look. Two Orange County beaches, they did close water access overnight because of a seal attack. Authorities say a seal at Salt Creek Beach exhibited at Normal behavior. Then at Strands Beach, a seal bit two people. Orange County lifeguards sent both to urgent care and closed water areas until six this morning. The Pacific Marine Center says the seal's behavior may be the result of the toxic algae bloom. And we want to get now to the bigger picture. This graph it shows the rapid growth of harmful algae along parts of Southern California's coast. It is believed to have killed hundreds of sea lions, close to 60 dolphins during the first weeks of June. And the Channel Island. Islands Marine and Wildlife Institute, they say they've fielded more than 1,000 reports of sick and dead marine mammals within one week. So the marine care teams that work year round, they are having trouble keeping up with all of this. They say a neurotoxin that's released by the bloom can cause seizures, even death in animals. Beachgoers, they're being urged to stay clear of these animals because as they become disoriented, they can also become aggressive. And back here live, take a look at this. They're urging folks to adopt some of these animals because they say so much more care is needed, so much more help right now that those donations can help buy food and also some help as they extend this. Again, this is because of of an ongoing bloom. We'll have much more because there's going to be a news conference here later today, including the superintendent uh, and some leaders of this center really breaking down uh, the approach that's going to be taken now to address this big problem. They are cute animals. Uh, we, wish, we wish them the best yeah. there, those animals behind you, Cara. Thank you.